So what are the top 12 mistakes that people make with reverse mortgages? Reverse mortgages today are called HECMs. HECM stands for Home Equity Conversion Mortgage, and it's the acronym that people use to describe the federal government insured reverse mortgage program. Now, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the HECM program. It was created by Congress, it's regulated by HUD, and it's insured by FHA. But that doesn't mean that everyone uses them properly. So I've written an article titled, the top 12 mistakes people make with reverse mortgages. And you can link to it below or always find it at mandelmanmatters.com and you can print it out to keep on file. That way, if any of your clients ever asks, you'll be able to at least tell them what not to do. So what are the top 12 mistakes? Well, here's a quick list. And if you think they're important to know more about, then click the link and the article will have all the details. Okay? One, borrowing more than you need. Never a good idea, right? Plus, the Heckam line of credit means that you can access funds when you need them. So why borrow more than you need? Why pay interest on money that you don't need? Two, planning to move in a year or two. If someone's not planning to live in the home for more than a couple of years, maybe the Heckam is not the best idea. Three, never making a mortgage payment. Just because you don't have to make a payment on a HECM mortgage doesn't mean that you can't. You can make interest-only payments, principal and interest payments, or no payments. It's totally up to you. But yes, you can have a HECM mortgage and still pay off your home. Four, can't afford property taxes. If you can't afford to pay your own property taxes and insurance, then it may be time to sell the home because with a HECM, you're still responsible to pay those bills. Five, not talking to adult children about what you're doing and why. This is a personal decision, I realize, but telling your adult children about the HECM is often a good idea. Six, spending 401k money first. Money in a qualified retirement account like a 401k is expensive money. For one thing, it's taxable as ordinary income. And for another, once you take it out, it's no longer invested in earning returns. Money you take from your Heckam line of credit, however, is tax-free. And even after you take it out and use it, you still benefit from your home's appreciation. Seven, choosing a fixed rate over the adjustable. I know, fixed rates sound better, but when it comes to the Heckam, the adjustable may be better for you because it provides a line of credit that's guaranteed to increase each year by the interest rate plus half a point. Over time, that can really add up. Eight, paying cash for your next home. Paying cash for a home used to be the way to go. But today, with retirement being measured in decades, not years, once you sink that money into your home, you may be burying it in the backyard where it's very hard to get out. With the Heckam for Purchase, you can use the Heckam program to purchase your next home and hold on to more of your cash. Nine, not using the line of credit to your advantage. The Heckam line of credit is unique. There's nothing else like it. It's guaranteed to increase every year and can really add up over time. Used properly, it can provide you with a bucket of tax-free money that you can use later in life for any purpose, like paying for long-term or in-home care. 10. Not refinancing when rates drop or program changes are an advantage. You want to work with a professional who will keep you up to date on when you should look at refinancing your HECM. Yes, you can refinance a HECM. 11. Not keep track of your home values in your area. Even though with a HECM you don't have to worry about making monthly mortgage payments, you should still keep your eye on your home's value year after year. If you don't, you may be missing opportunities. 12, not making home equity part of your retirement planning. A home is often the largest single asset people have. Why would you ignore it when planning for your retirement years? After all, isn't one of the reasons people buy homes so that they'll have something of value later in life? Of course. So don't ignore your home's equity. It can make a huge difference in your retirement years. Okay, 
Those are the mistakes I see people make with reverse mortgages and the short answers, at least, to why they shouldn't. Click the link and get the rest of the information that you and your clients need so that they don't make those same mistakes simply because they didn't know, right? It's important. And if you have questions, then click my email address below and I'll get in touch right away. We can either talk on the phone or maybe set up a Zoom meeting. Those are all the rage right now, right? Yeah, I know. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. I really am. And thanks for watching. <laughs>